Agatha Christie's book published in 1938 titled Hercule Poirot's Christmas is often considered to be one of the author's masterpieces. It seems appropriate at this time of year to say a few things about this book and perhaps to encourage you to read it if you have not already done so. Hercule Poirot's Christmas was written and published in 1938. Most of the action takes place at Gorston Hall, a big country house owned by Simeon Lee, a millionaire businessman who made his money first of all in the diamond fields of South Africa. Mr Lee is not a pleasant man and this Christmas he decides to invite all his family to his home. The family members are Alfred, his very respectable son who worked hard for his father's business and his wife Lydia. Then there is Alfred, an artist, and his wife Hilda. Alfred does not like his father because of the way he treated his late mother. Then there's Harry, who's a bit of a rogue, and George Lee, a pompous, tight-fisted MP, and his very young wife. Apart from these family members, there are also two people who also come to the family home that Christmas. These are Stephen Farr, who tells everybody that he is the son of the late Ebenezer Farr, who was Simon Lee's partner in South Africa. But then there's Pilar Astrovadas, a Spanish woman who says that she is the grandson of Simeon Lee. All of these people are gathered under one roof at Christmas. Not all of them like each other. Alfred and Harry despise one another. And their father tells them he is going to change his will. He also shows them some diamonds he's recently had cut and are in his safe. Finally, he insults his sons by telling them that they're all useless and, he's, and he has better sons who were born on the wrong side of the blanket. A few hours later, there's a crash from Simeon Lee's room. There's a scream and all the family rush to open the door, which is locked on the outside. Inside, they find the dead body of Simeon Lee. His throat has been cut and the room is a mess. The diamonds are gone. Fortunately for all concerned, perhaps, except the murderer, Hercule Poirot, ace Belgian detective, is staying at the home of the county's chief constable, who thinks that the local superintendent, Superintendent Sugden, might need a bit of help over this murder. And indeed, Sugden actually was at the house earlier in the evening, asking for money for donations for police charities. And he tells all assembled that in reality, the old man had contacted him because he was concerned that his diamonds might be stolen. Apart from the family members in the house, there is also Horbury, the rather suspicious manservant, and Tristillian, the elderly butler, who's worked for the family for over 40 years. In the course of this investigation, there is a murder attempt on Pilar Astrovadas, but in the end, Hercule Poirot summons all the suspects to the drawing room, and in classic Agatha Christie style, he outlines the fact that each one of them had a motive for the murder, and each one of them might have done it. He then explains who the real culprit is, and um, and real culprit at the end says, God rot his soul in hell. I'm glad I did it. It's recommended reading. It's a solution that you will not guess and um, a good book to read over Christmas. If you like this video, please remember to hit the like button and to subscribe to Ealing Library's YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.